Hi everyone, this tutorial for WinWord will explain how to add custom symbols to the game. Step 1. You need to create a folder in My Documents WinWord called Symbols. Inside this folder is where all the images are going to reside. If you are doing this on a multiplayer server, the multiplayer server needs to have the same exact structure, it needs to have the symbols inside of it. If there is a symbol that exists on a multiplayer server that does not exist on a player server and a player connects using this symbol, this uh, image will automatically be downloaded and placed into your own symbols folder as well. So anyway, let's begin. To create an actual texture, it uh, ideally should be a 128 by 128 PNG file. Red, green and blue channels, they can just be black alpha channel is the only one that actually matters. The alpha channel defines what you will actually see. It's the alpha mask. So create your uh, image and uh, image editing a tool of your choice like Photoshop and just save it. So again 128 by 128 RGB is black, alpha is where the alpha mask will reside and it's a PNG. Now you can actually use this uh, image on the server, or in the game rather. To create it in the game as an item in a mod, you would do this. You would create a new random symbol and you would change it to use the texture name of your choice. In this case, it has to match. And then you add it to the player. In this case, I'm just adding it to myself. So let's see what happens in the game when I run it. So here I am in the game, I press 8, and I get the new sail embroidery that I just added. And of course, I can equip it and see it on my character. Tra -la 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 and that's all it takes. If you are making a mod and you want the symbol to actually drop in the game, you could modify the configuration file and place it at the end here, like so. However, if you have multiple mods and they're all trying to modify the symbols, then it's not going to work very well. A better solution instead is to uh, register a listener for the on generate symbol callback on my custom mod for example and this function like this rather and this function will actually be called every time a new symbol drops in the game and then you inside it you can say uh, well if uh, the random chance is within a certain uh, uh, range then it's going to be changed to my symbol instead or some other symbol. This way you can actually have multiple mods modifying the same function and the function itself would look like this if the random value is below 0.1 which gives it a 10% chance you'll swap the uh, symbol to be the troll symbol Okay, one very last thing. If you do want to create a symbol that actually tiles like some other textures in the configuration, like geometric for example, uh, you will want to put uh, repeat in the name of the symbol itself. And this will cause the symbol to look different. So also here you would have to match the name as well. Uh, troll repeat. And now, when you actually run the game and create a new sale embroidery, again equip it, it's going to be repeated. Here's one more thing that you might find useful. What if you actually wanted your mod to upload custom user-made uh, symbols to your server? You can actually do that. In this case, I have this little function here. If it hasn't been uploaded, then I upload it. Well, all the function does inside is just uh, reads the local file data, which is the PNG, and then saves it on the server under the specified file name. And uh, that's all that, uh, that's needed. This is the file name, so the same exact file name will be saved on a server, so it'll be also under the symbols folder, which means that the server will be able to find it, and it will automatically have players download this symbol when uh, this custom symbol gets encountered in the game. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys.